Is it true that PC gaming could be done? Console gaming too? Because in 2023, the way to go is stream games? On an Amazon Fire Stick? Hmm. Stay tuned. So earlier today, guys, I was looking for a movie to watch, and I stumbled upon Luna Gaming, which is Amazon's cloud-based streaming service for games, and I figured I'd give it a shot. I was able to get on free, but you can pay a monthly charge, uh, probably yearly charge as well. I didn't look into it, but there were games that weren't, I was not able to play without purchasing it, so the games you're going to see are the ones that I was able to grab or at least find. A uh, couple things that I looked at and realized were uh, this is probably the cheapest way to get into gaming other than if you had a Dell or an HP laying around. I didn't use my phone. I did use an Xbox controller uh, to just get the full experience, I guess. I'm not sure if you could use keyboard and mouse. I'd have to do an, some research and maybe another video for that. Um, behind me is the video uh, with the gameplay on it. So without further ado, let's get into it and see how we did with 2023 cloud-based gaming. All right, like I said, I was going through looking for something to watch and I came across Lunar Gaming from Amazon. And these games I threw in my library, that way I was able to get to them quicker. The first game I tried out was Strange Horticulture. To me it felt like it felt like a mystery game where you were able to discover and admire and get a closer look at various plants for educational and medicinal purposes, as well as discover and provide otherworldly services to help the patrons of your shop who come in with various needs such as ailments and wants along with your black cat kitty you'll be able to discover a world of fun uh, this game did run smooth uh, there wasn't many options for AAA titles so the games I did grab aren't going to be the best you're not going to find Call of Duty on this video or anything like that but they do offer um, a few AAA title games if you want to pay $9.99 a month uh, there was a seven day free trial so you'd be able to even try it out and see if it's something for you maybe in a future video i'll do that so right here you can see i'm just kind of drag and drop and just click and it allows you to discover new plants and you hang out with your black cat and you got to be careful because if you get too many plants, if you give your customers too many wrong plants, uh, you gotta solve this puzzle where you fix this plate. Next up is Street Assault. This game kind of reminds me of a variety of games in the 80s and 90s they made. Action based. Uh, you just go around fighting a variety of enemies, uh, starting from basically soldiers all the way on up to bigger bosses and that. Very smooth running game. Uh, it was definitely fun to play. I was getting into it. You got a grappling hook you can use to get up to them higher levels. Um, jump. You definitely have to use that grappling hook because you will die if uh, you fall down the hole like I did just there. <laughs> uh, this game right here was really good. Uh, Blood, Blood Rain Betrayal Fresh Bites. Uh, this game was a lot of fun. Uh, you're a half-breed fighting vampires for what appears to be a government, private or not. Uh, this action game brought me back to the early 90s and 2000s, again with that linear-based action. Um, but this had more of a story to it. Definitely fun, ran smooth, didn't have an issue. Um, I gotta say, at this price point, you gotta think about it. You go out, you buy an Amazon Fire Stick for $29.99, or you can get it used. And then with a Prime membership, which you either already have or you can purchase for the year, 
you're already good to go especially if you have an Android and an iOS phone you can use that as a controller so you don't actually have to go buy a controller I haven't tested to see how the controller would work out um, in gaming I use that Xbox controller but you never know I'm sure it wouldn't be that bad uh, next up Fortnite now this is where it started to show issues a lot of lag in this game um, I did manage to squeeze out a couple kills uh, but there's definitely a lot of lag in this game and it's slow I wouldn't I would say sub 30 frames a second if I were to maybe had software to run to see I did try to put on the FPS but it didn't seem to pop up so I hope everybody got to see the Big Bang event with Eminem and that was pretty cool I know a lot of people complain that it was kind of a waste of time. It was only a couple songs in that, but I appreciated it as a tribute to Marshall Mathers. And it's one of my favorite artists. And, you know, we got Mom Spaghetti on the back steaming with the skin. Fortnite was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, though, it was lagging. So competitive gaming might be hard unless you're a camper, a sniper. Or you just can anticipate where to move uh, next up was a bit of a fun game definitely non triple-a it's probably as non triple as it's gonna get uh, this is once upon a time a jester where basically your jester going around trying to help set up for this sh big show and there's people around town you make a sign and do other various jobs in order to get the show rolling uh, this was a lackluster title. This would be for more maybe younger children. I mean, everybody has a gaming desire, so this would be towards a young version. Or if you're just looking for something light to play, and they're going to offer a bunch of titles for different people, obviously, because they want a variety of people to play. So. This last title, I gotta say, definitely had me hooked. I played for a good solid hour, just trying to beat my own personal best or get a goal of either bronze, silver, or medal. Um, I'm sorry, bronze, silver, or gold medal uh, in this racing game, Track Mania. Definitely a fun game. I recommend it to anybody instantly addicting I had a lot of fun I checked it out um, different maps and stuff like that they have calendar map where you can play a track per day so like today's December 3rd and they got a track for today uh, local online I'm not sure if you can you do get skins and stuff like that but I'm not sure how to modify the car I wasn't messing around I was literally just straight racing that's how hooked I was on this game Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Peace.